growing green industry that's largely going ignored. The concern comes from farming communities over a decision made by the Foreign Investment Review Board back in 2022 to approve the purchase of farming properties in the Karangamite area. This is in southwest Victoria to German company Munich Re. This is all for the purpose of timber plantations, which can then earn carbon credits. Now, beyond the fact that farmers in the area are rightly concerned about what this means for their communities and livelihoods, the broader implications is that one of our prime agricultural areas will cease to now produce food, impacting, of course, food security and jobs, and the impact particularly on towns in rural Australia. Joining me now to discuss this, Councillor-elect for the Koorimungal Ward, Importantly, also, he's a dairy farmer in the region, Jamie Vogels. Jamie, thank you for your time. Um, up front, I'll declare I've got a sister who's on a dairy farm down that way, not this specific area, but I know from her and her husband's experience, I mean, this is fantastic dairy soil, high rainfall, of course, you produce some of the best high-quality dairy and meat in the country. Uh, this is a concern that we'll lose this area away from food production into timber, but worse than that, a carbon credits for a foreign player. Yeah, thanks, Peter. And um, first up, I'll declare that I'm, I'm councillor-elect, not a uh, councillor at the moment, and I don't speak on behalf of councillors all of the Cring of uh, as a dairy farmer. Um, massive issues with, with what's happening uh, at the moment, the rapid influx of, of blue gums uh, into our area, which is, is prime agricultural land for, for mainly dairy. Um, roughly, the, well, the Foreign Review Investment Board has approved uh, $200 million in southwest Victoria for blue gum plantations. Um, this has been targeted not across um, the whole of the southwest Victoria, which is a large area, it's been targeted uh, pretty much in the Haysbury uh, area, which is um, outside of irrigation. The, the probably the highest um, producer of um, dairy. So, you know, we've, we've, we've got issues um, from from community uh, level through to industry level from from this um, this approval. All right, let's just we'll get into the community impacts in a moment. But but what's pretty counterintuitive here? All of these. Uh, gums, these blue gums that are planted, will be used to offset carbon output for this German company. But your soils are some of the most carbon efficient in the country. So if we take dairy out and we import our dairy then from another area in Australia or overseas, we are currently getting dairy products from, from some of the best low carbon soils in the country, but we'll then import dairy from areas where they've got higher carbon soils so we'll lose that, that current carbon efficiency, carbon benefit. But of course, a lot of the profits here and all the benefits of these carbon sinks are, are involved with a, with a German company, not even Australia. So, so yeah, these carbon credits will be owned by Germany and have to be purchased back by Australian companies or government departments to offset their carbon. Um, so, so that's a, a complete negative um for productivity and and for economic value and and probably with one of the one of the other things that drives the the cost of living um as these companies purchase these carbon credits they just pass the costs on so it costs more to buy um and, and we are extremely carbon efficient the whole country not just um here but if, if you look into it the, as, as a country for agriculture we're probably up there with the, the top three of most carbon efficient um in food production in the world, uh, and, and the world's got one atmosphere. The milk production for the world's not going down, it can produce, it'll get produced in other countries that, that are much higher, um, increasing the carbon, um, yeah, in, into the atmosphere. And of course, dairy is labour intensive, so dairy means a lot of jobs in your region. I mean, I grew up in a little country town, and when, when jobs start to go, there's not enough young kids in the school and the school shuts down. There's not enough people buying at the supermarket. It loses jobs or, or leaves town. The post office goes as well. Give people an understanding of what's already happening uh, to a lot of little towns in around these big plantations. 
Um, so, you know, I was just talking to one of our service providers today and, and he's saying with, with one particular farm leaving, um, that'll be 50k um, straight out of his income. Um, and, and you can exacerbate that out through how much is happening with the 200 million. We're probably looking at about 10,000 hectares uh, going to, to blue gums, which are wood pulp um, trees, not uh, construction timber as well. So um, with, with all the money disappearing, probably every 100 hectares would equate to one job uh, on farm with a, with a three-time job multiplier through the economy as value add to our products, um, as well as yeah. economic turnover of dairy turns over about $6,000 a hectare uh, per year. And, and with the trees, um, we cannot find out and have a, a proper figure, but, but there, once you let the subsidy farmers in, you know, the, sort of distorts the market and he probably subsidise everyone if they're going to keep farming. Um, so we're looking at 200 tonnes of carbon offsets as, as why they're making it viable, where there was not a viable option to do wood pulp trees without the carbon offsets. So as you lose um, all, all this um, economic value out of our area uh, and all these jobs out of our area, then, then you start to look at um, closures or, or of schools, um, and, and other yep. facility, the football clubs can't get teams together, the netball clubs suffer, uh, we can't get volunteers for the CFA, um, as well as SES and other services. So that, that's sort of, that's a big issue um, that, that's sort of just, just started because uh, it's a three year program. I think they're two and a half thousand hectares in and we're already seeing um, a, a lot of um, issues starting to rear their heads. I've got to leave it there, Jamie, but I'm sure my viewers are watching you, listening to you and saying, thank God you've got yourself on the council because I don't think many people around the country understand the scale of what's about to hit. You are, pardon the pun, the canary in the coal mine and more will come. Jamie Vogels, uh, council elect there. Thank you for your time. Keep saying with that.